It's the ABE week, the Amsterdam dance event. Amsterdam is flooded with labels, DJs, with bookings, agencies, venues. Everybody's talking shop. We're talking electronic music. And I thought to not complicate this video as it is busy as it is. So creating techno in five easy steps. Live techno, that is. Are you ready for that? That's going to be today's video. Hang on tight, fasten your seatbelts. Let's go do it right now. Hey, check it out. Thank you for watching. I'm in a little kitchen and uh, you're here, right? Hang around till the end of this video. I'll tell you all about Discord Patreon. I'll tell you all about the Amsterdam Dance Event event that we have on Sunday if you're watching the premiere. So if this is the Friday night and you're watching it right now, it means it's Sunday. If you're watching this on Monday, it was yesterday. You missed it. Anyway, so the Amsterdam Dance Event, I'm going to tell you all about the lineup and do that at the end of this video. So do stick around. Hit that notification bell because whenever I upload a new video you'll not miss out on anything so do stick around for that as well on topic techno in five easy steps if you're sitting behind your computer and you're working with Ableton it's different and I am not going to slag the whole door thing off because I just I'm not just I'm not gonna do it but there is something to say for people that go on loop masters go on audio tent or whatever and they just like download the whole uh, techno pack by Hubbub and then they'll just stick all the samples together and they'll come up like, did you listen to my new release? No. When it comes to dollars techno, that's something different, right? And different in a way, if you watch Tomo, if you watch um, Circo, if you watch Trovarsi, if you watch uh, Honey Smack, you know what I mean. There's something else when it comes to dollars techno. You have to make these machines work. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I'll say it again. You now have to be arranger, you have to be sound engineer, you have to be musician, you have to be technician. There's a few things that go into it, but these five easy creative steps, once you get the hang around connecting everything, that's something you need to figure out when it comes to making the music. Step one, get some cool kick-ass beats going. Don't make them too complicated. I prefer to work with a 909 drum computer on which I will only select four or five sounds. So I'll keep it simple. Kick, clap, right, hi-hats, right? That's simple. Then, because I want to make a modern day kind of vibe and the 909 drum computer, of course, is not the newest machine in the world. Sounds cool, there's a lot of cool value that it has, but it is a 909 drum computer out of 1976. So I will stick a top loop on top of that to accompany. You'll see that happen uh, once we get to that point. So that's the drums. The second thing, most important, get a driving baseline going. A driving baseline for techno is adamant. You cannot make techno, especially groove techno, without a driving baseline. So the DFAM is going to take care of that for us today. DFAM, did he say DFAM? Yes, he did. So, okay, then get a counter sound. There's always a sound in techno that just like acts as a call and response kind of vibe to whatever is already playing. That today, that task I'm going to give to band member Minitar. Minitar is going to take care of that thing. So I'm going to make a techno sound with the Minitar, which is also new and cool. Out of the comfort zone, always cool. Step four is create effects. Stick effects on it so that it gets the room that it needs to do. Not everything obviously, but if you've got a cool sound, make sure that it has its own atmosphere that it can reside in its own space so it will stand out. It's like that flavor that you put on your food, when you're cooking. Did he say that in a little kitchen? <laughs> yes, he did. Anyway, and step five, you can debate that that's a necessary one, but thinking of a record that I'm constantly playing um, when I'm DJing by Slam called um, Activate. Wow, a vocal is also cool. So I will use the 1010 uh, black box as a looper, record a vocal in, and then you'll just play it from there. And then that should all work together nicely. Not gonna make the intro too long. Fasten your seatbelts, as I said, buckle up, and we're going to do it now. Welcome. Okay, when it comes to 
five easy steps you have to really think on what is it that we're going to do like as I said we're going to create a drum beat first so this is it create a drum beat create a driving bass line create a counter sound of some sort create uh, some cool effects and create a vocal that should really create a techno groove now um, without further ado let's get into it what I've done is I've got my 909 drum computer sitting right here I'm using the DFAM for bass and I'm using the Minitar for a counter rhythm I've got the acid box 3 through which I will record my voice into the black box so I can loop stuff in there which is uh, cool um, on this side I've got a mini lab 3 which is the keyboard for playing something here uh, and of here if I root it that way then there is this MIDI fight right here that's controlling the black box I've got the RK008 and the RK006 as the MIDI loopers so this is what's distributing MIDI throughout the setup this is what's recording the MIDI into the set so this is an analog set where I can just do different things the black sky sitting right here uh, coming from an auxiliary send here on the EPM 8 mixer then there's a boss DD7 so first the, the auxiliary send is going into the delay then through the reverb and then on a uh, re uh, turn on the mixer as you can say there I can see there's a Valco KGB distortion right here the kick is going through there because for this techno sound I wanted it to sound a little bit more aggressive so this is off this is on so you can hear a little bit more of a saturated kick now the first thing I will tell you is that I've got a few things that I do think a techno groove should have hats And a clap. And a right symbol. This is all the beats I'm going to use today, right? I have got a top loop of some sort sitting on the black box just to help me out if need be. I'll play it later, but you know. Um, well, no, I can play it now. Can I? Yes, I can. So that's here. So this is the beat, right? Simple. Easy peasy. So we're going to start with the kick first. So this is already running. I am not doing anything um, uh, program-wise with different patterns on the 9 as I would like to be live. So for the clap, for instance, if I'm going to my shift instrument select hand clap, you can see on the 5 and the 13, there's the clap. But on 1 and 9, obviously, if I wanted to go techno, it was a bam, 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 bam. So you can easily... Um, amend stuff on the fly you know change stuff which is really cool now um to, to start this track up and to make it convincing the leveling of things is very important so the kick is sitting where it sits I'm, i've got the desk blinking a little bit blinking it's cool illuminated not cool this thing uh and this stems back from my old school gabba hardcore days um you can only do so much with these desks but it sounds really wicked though it's got this this kind of vibe to it so that's all good so what we would want now is um to think on what are we going to add at this stage i'm thinking if you want to build up your track you go for a baseline now i've got something already cooking on the defam with the filter close it sounds like this one two three four bam right now you can hear that with short envelopes it's already drum type so the drummer from another mother obviously it's like that's all drums if you wonder where the trigger comes from i have to forfeit my uh, rim shot on the 909 to go straight into the advanced clock so you go into the advanced clock and then it's playing all these different steps the reason why you got this groove thing going which is a powerful thing on the dfam it's you can have these uh it says velocity but obviously it's just a little bit of an emphasis of which sounds you would like to uh, have and the, the 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 pitch also does a lot of stuff so the lower the notes are the less you're going to hear them they're there though and you'll feel them in the club but you won't hear them as much so what I'm doing is I've got a little bit of the uh, VCO DK that's already closed um, on the oscillator one. So voice uh, the oscillator one has got a fair amount of uh, envelope generation and the frequency is on say nine, so nine o'clock. So when I open this up, and I can hear a little bit of an accent 
because that's very important to have these counter rhythms. That's already there. So if I open this up, you can hear that, oh, that's already something going. Now this is the catalyst of the track. Now in every video you've seen me do over the last, what is it, four years, I will always debate Minitar bass. That's where I am. Today I'm going to make a techno sound with the Minitar, which is also refreshing to use it for something else. So this is my kind of groove, right? You can hear the kick drum being distorted. Now the kick drum is not pitched in tune with the rest of the music as I'm making techno. I just want this to be an in your face kind of go for it type track. It's 133 BPM. Am I correct? Because this is the clock right here. Uh, tempo. No, it says 129. What are you doing? What are you doing? Speed it up to 133. There you go. Give it a little bit more pace. Cool. Yeah, we got this going, yeah? Cool. Next thing, clap. Oh yeah, I'm digging that. I'm digging that. Yeah. So clockwise, this. RK008 is sending out MIDI to the black box. Um, it's sending uh, MIDI out to the 909. And then the 909 triggers the um, uh, DFAM here. That's how it is. Uh, and the rest is just, you know, you just play stuff in. So obviously, um, the RK also records um, the mini tars MIDI notes. So we got this going, right? Okay, I'm liking this. So I'm going to open up a little bit more of the bass line, right? That's in there. Now this in itself is already moving, yeah? Listening to what the DFAM is. I'll just take out the drums. No noise. You know, a little bit of decay that I'm gonna die. I got a, a fault, the envelope generation also on the filter. And I'm playing around with the decay here. That's very important. So back in with the drums. So instantly you got this hat bobbing thing going on. Now also the shuffle is on two with the 909. Which is cool. So this is one. This is two. And you can even play it. You understand? So that's how we do it. So two is moderately but still got this boogie thing going on. Now, I love this high because I can open it up like so. Cool. Now, if I want to get some adrenaline going to get this techno thing on the road, you just take out your kick. And now I'm going to put the right symbol in there, like so. Let's give this thing a little bit of um, reverb and delay. See? Nice one. Take the ride back out again. So the thing is, every time I'm adding a step, I'm opening the filter up slightly further so that it becomes a little bit more in your face. But this thing is just alive, isn't it? Kick out. One, two, three, with the right. Okay, I'm liking that. Now, if I'm going to introduce that top loop that's sitting over here, which is already playing, let's turn it off. I am going to take my right off. And so now that's extra highs now. Adjusting a little bit of the loop that I have. Cool. Now I'm going to think like, okay, that mini tar, I need that mini tar in there. Because the mini tar is the counterpart. So, so far we've got step one, create the drums. Step two, create the driving bass line, right? Back in with right. Woo, I got this. Got this groove going, I'm liking it. So, so now I'm on 200 hertz with the filter. I'm thinking, okay. What can this Minitar do? This Minitar, usually the Minitar is a, see, I can play it lower, bass, right? You know the beat there. 
can even play the lowers even. Wow, this is a... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, a third up and look for the root note here. Go higher. Higher. Cool. Now, now you know it's a note, but if I was to play it a little bit more muffled and a little bit more techno, I will give it some reverb. So this is the call and responses. So I'm even putting more speed on my record. Record it in. There you go. Record it in. So now I can do all these crazy things like play around with, with the length. So it's only there's an accent, right? So, right out. Okay, let's grip this up a little bit more. If you want to make techno sounds, so now I've just attuned oscillator 2. Out of tune a little bit. There you go. So what I'm going to do is filter my BFM down. And focus a little bit on the sound that I got here, on the minotaur. I'm going to play around with the LFO. Pretty much, I want it to sound a little bit more gritty. So as almost if I can bit crush it. Now the trick to do it is to open up the rate and the amount. trying to look for does it fit is it in key it can be out of key but I think out of tune this this could work so what I'm going to do is lower the volume a little bit on the minotaur here because as it, as it is an extra I wanted to sit in the beat and stick it in the background a little bit I can space stuff out a little bit so take it out of the middle pan it to one side this is far uh, right this is far left as you can hear Okay, kick out. Open up and the ride back in, here we go. What's not the light here, right? Cool. Make sure that my kick is in order. Take this out. Cool. All right, now let's lower this. Another thing that I think is very important that you should look at is a vocal, right? Um, most techno tracks that I uh, play, like Slam, got this really cool track out at the moment called Activate. I'm just playing at the hell out of that record. So it may it means a vocal does something cool, like Green Velvet's got like cool vocals also. Not a thing with me when I record vocals, I don't really overthink what's happening. So I'm going to. Out of the cells that I have right here that are free, I'm going to use that one. I've got it mono, so I've got the send going. Let's see what's happening. Whoa, 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 whoa. yes. Ah, cha -cha. Ah, cha -cha. Ah, in the groove. Ah, yeah, get a groove. Ah, get a groove. Ah, in the groove.
straight in. Okay, I'm going to look at that sample, place it in a clip, not as a sample, and if I'm not mistaken, my blabbing should sound like... Again. Cool. Take the voice, voice out. I don't think it's harder than that, really. What it's to do with the leveling of the sounds, right? So if I was to do it again without me blabbing, I'll go in like.
like that, you know, see? So this is how I set it up, you know? So break it down and try it for yourself. Get these things to do what they need to do. Drums is drums. Of course, you, you can debate, do you need a 99 drum? It made sense, right? Just get some kind of drums. Don't take, um, uh, don't use too many drums because I don't think it, you need it, right? So there's this top loop that if you turn it off, turn it back on. It's got this bit of a shaker thing going on. So, yeah, got this uh, defam in a, in a sense, but you can also hear that if I'm taking out all the drums. Now you can hear the call response clearly. Let's go back to my music, but in minor because now it's a major chord. Yep, and the fun part is I can even go and say like, you know what? Let's transpose you three notes up. Stick it in a place where it's not bugging you, but it's, it's still there, right? So, try to get a little bit of a different vibe here. Oh yeah. Got a few more notes in there that I want to hear. Mind you, I'm using this without a quantizer, so I need to be careful with my notes. Shorter notes. Okay, come here. There, right here, go. <laughs> ah, you gotta like it. I guess, I guess that that's um, how I do it, right? Let me uh, know in the comment section what you think. And um, yeah, this thing is an addition. I think I'm going to haul it everywhere where I'm going, to be honest, because that was not to like, you know what I mean? Something completely different from a subsequent. Um, I remember somebody come up in the comment section a few years ago saying like, dude, check out the defender. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is one of those moments where you thought like, they were so, so right. Okay, um, yeah, I'll uh, probably jam it out a little bit and I'll leave you up to the to the other guy to tell you all these, this good stuff. Um, enjoy.
also would like to take this time to thank all the new patrons. Whoa, there's a lot that are actually following this. Thank you for checking that out. Um, the free membership uh, gets you all the information on where I am, where I'm playing and all that kind of good stuff. And the paid membership is going to just like wish you straight into Discord where we have community chats, where we talk, where we talk shop, where we talk about synthesizers, we talk about gear, we talk about DFAM, obviously. And we talk about a lot of stuff. Um, why am he, is he saying defend? No, I gotta defend this guy. I just got, I got to say it. You know? Ah, that thing was on my gas list like for ages. And I got it right now. So that's also thanks to you guys out there. Thanks ever so much. Thank you for the support um, of the guys that uh, and girls that are uh, supporting it. Listen. Amsterdam dance event. I've got Master D, Camille Dame, I've got the Yellow Boline, Daisy Chain, I've got Fast Grandiose, I've got Troversi and Alex coming. I have got um, Allo Kitchen obviously playing. Um, yeah, it's going to be crazy. I've got Sarah Summers playing and we're all doing that on Sunday afternoon. It starts at 1. Why? Because you just tumble out of the front club and you tumble onto my dance floor. I need people to be a little bit like clued in, zoned in, blissed out. You know what I mean? Get to my dance floor and come join the kitchen club. It's over at the Recycle Lounge. I'll probably leave a link in the description somewhere so you can find what's actually happening. I am so happy for this event because it's all live artists. Everybody's going to play live. So it's going to be an amazing ride. And I do believe that it's a cool day for uh, Dollars slash modular x and we should be in numbers so if this is your interest you like that you know you got more questions and answers do check out uh, patreon.com slash animal kitchen of easily now all right um what else can i tell you um i think i told you everything uh if you bump into me over at ade do say hi um uh, it's always cool to hear from you guys whether you like the content or not, or not. you know suggestions are all also very very welcome um yeah yeah, do check out my um, uh, store if you want to buy uh, some cool merch. Um, I'm just bad laughing. You know what? You're going to find another video next week on this space. I'm in location. Thank you for watching. Catch you.